все, давай, я съест ее сейчас. Да, сейчас съест. Окей, это страшно. Alright, alright. What's good, my guy? Hybrid 32494. I got you, bro. Thanks for the support. Guys, we're going to get into it. We're just going to give it another five minutes, um, gather some more viewers, and then I'll explain the details. You, you, I just want to ask I, you a I, few I, questions. I, I don't know who you are. Listen, I have the chat log. I have everything recorded. Everything is safe. If you lie, the police will get involved, and you will get locked up. Do you understand? Uh, the last predator I caught, seven cop cars pulled up. We got him arrested. He's in county jail till now with no bail. Do you understand? Just going to ask you a few questions. You keep your hands out of your pocket. You don't lie. And this will go smooth for you. You understand? Or are you here to meet tonight? What's the name of the guy? How old is this guy? How old is the guy? He told me. He told you how old? So you're here to have sex with a 12-year-old boy. And you think that's okay? You told him you're bringing lubricants. Where the lubricants? Yo, I appreciate the fucking support. You guys have no idea how appreciative I am. You guys are the reason I keep going. You guys are the reason I'm going to keep going hard. <sighs> My eBay seller history, I have three ships, it says right here three, but I actually sold six. So three out of the six wound up not paying. I had to relist, I had to basically do a final value fee credit, cancel the transaction. It was a whole nightmare. The first thing is my classic collectible Traxxas Nitro Rustler. We have my Red Cat Racing Nitro Shockwave and my DJI Phantom 3 4K. So first, let's start with the Nitro Rustler. Here it is, my two-wheel drive Nitro Rustler. You're literally looking at the one I had in my videos. You could tell the pictures I have are fairly good. I did a good job detailing everything that was, you know, either right or really wrong on it. And there really wasn't much wrong other than, of course, it didn't come with a radio. It says ARTR right here because you don't use the Fly Sky radio, so I have to wind up keeping it. This listing might say that it sold for $195, but guys, I could assure you it did not sell for $195. I accepted the best offer price. If you look right here, it sold for $155 plus $18 shipping. So what does that mean to me? Well, I mean, the price is not bad. $195 would have been much better. But you know what? I wound up just selling it because I just wanted to move on. Now, the bad thing is that USPS pretty much wound up raping me. So what happened was the shipping was way over 18 bucks. I wound up paying like $30. And this is, you know, a basic 10 scale. It's like not even heavy. This is not a monster truck. I didn't even include the remote. There was nothing heavy in the package. It was like a small package. This is a basic stadium truck. That's pretty lightweight. And um, I wound up paying... 
you know, thirty dollars to ship this. So yeah, that took a little bit of a cut of the profits, but you know what? It is what it is. Sometimes you gotta live and learn. I guess a lot of these larger eBayers have agreed upon shipping methods. That's why they can offer free shipping. But small eBayers like me, you just can't do that. You're stuck paying USPS prices. And I checked, UPS is even more. If you want to go to the listing yourself and read what I have written here, you'll see that my description is really, really good. I go over the upgrades that it has. I say everything that is, you know, a little bit wrong with it, like the body, it's in average condition. The top of the coolant head was missing one of the fins. It was chipped. So make sure you have a good description so no one can even get back to you. Now, surprisingly, the seller wound up contacting me here and... He said one of the uprights in the back, the wheel hubs, was broken. So I wound up refunding the guy ten dollars. I don't know if he watches my videos or not, but if he does, you know, it's just one of those things. Sometimes you gotta make it right. If I had the part, I would have wound up sending the part. But guys, if you want to check out uh, this listing, just look for the completed and sold listings for the Traxxas Nitro Rustler. And once again, it sold for one fifty-five plus eighteen shipping. Not the best deal, but you know what? It's it's a good way for me to move on and on to the next, you know? Let's look at this Red Cat Racing. I've done a couple of videos on this. This one sold for $121 and also $18 shipping. Once again, I got raped on the shipping. It was more than this, but, you know, it is what it is. So one of the things I usually do with nitros is I remove the coolant head and I let the buyer look inside the head to see that the piston itself is clean the sleeve is normal you could see right here i have the coolant head laying right on the side of the chassis so you know what this way the buyer really has nothing to worry about and you're going to be generating good bids this had an upgraded steering servo and other than that it was in basically good stock condition i have a few videos of this rc in my channel nothing wrong with it i liked it but once again just time to move on um the only thing it had was in the front uh, the zip tie right here is holding on the suspension arm, but that's because, you know, when I first bought this one, it was uh, slightly damaged, and I could have bought a new suspension arm. They're cheap. They're like $10 for a set of two, but, you know, I really didn't feel like it. I Probably if I wound up keeping it, I would have upgraded to aluminum suspension arms, but in this case, I figured, you know what, just, just time to move on. Now it's time to look at the classic DJI Phantom. It sold for 400 bucks. Very good price, I gotta say. I was... Very surprised that it actually sold for 400 bucks. This is my actual DJI Phantom drone. Um, let me put a picture here so you guys could see some of the last images I took, you know, before I was about to sell this. I had to check the memory card. This drone was in ideal condition. The batteries were very good. It flew really well. I included a couple upgrades, you know, this extended landing gear, the chassis, a carbon fiber brace for the camera. The reason I sold this is because I got the DJI Mavic Mini, which you guys know I still have an unbox because there would have been an unboxing video on that. But 400 bucks, you know, I basically paid the 400 bucks for the Mavic Mini. Say goodbye to my DJI Phantom 3 4K. The last camera activation. Here we go. I call this the DJI Dance. That felt great. A lot of people get these non brand name drones and then, like, they're stuck. They can't sell it. Now, DJI might be like 95% of what's the best in drone technology today, but you know what you have? You have a very good resale value. So 400 bucks. I literally only paid like uh, 480 for this about three or four years ago. I did an unboxing video on this 3, 4K model, and you could look at the timestamp on that when it was published. You'll see I've had this for like three or four years at this point. So I'm happy with it. Description was good. Nothing was wrong with it. So, you know, obviously I kept the box. I made sure that the box was in the picture because you want to be generating as much value as you can. Overall, I'm happy with my uh, eBay seller history. Now, I'm going to be listing a lot more items here soon. I'm not sure if they're going to be, you know, half of my electrics or what the case is. But there's going to be more, guys. Just want to give you a little bit of a background on my actual seller history. I don't think anyone's ever recorded a Wendy's drive through as in much depth as I am right now. Hi, can I help you? Oh uh, yes, hi. I have a, I placed a mobile order. And what's the name of your order? Uh, I'm not sure. What do you have now? Excuse me? Uh, what's the mobile order? It's like an acronym here in the app. It doesn't say the full name. What is your name? Uh, John. John Johnson? Uh, yes. Okay, you can drive around. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You guys heard that? I'm freaking John Johnson over here. John Johnson, guys. John Johnson.
Are you ready to eat the Wendy's burger?